Hi there! Welcome to my channel. I'm Gina and I thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's project we are going to be making some cute adorable little gift card holders. You know this has been a crazy crazy year and not everybody wants to go out shopping <laughs> and and that's you know totally understandable. It might just be easier to stop at a location that has a kiosk that has all kinds of different uh, gift cards. And that just may be the way a lot of people want to go this year. But that doesn't mean you can't add a personal touch. You can by all means create your own gift card holder and make it unique and special for each person that you give one to. That's our project today. Here's a couple that I've already made. So uh, if you're interested, stick with me and we'll get started. All right, so I looked up what the standard size is for a gift card, and it's the same as a regular credit card. It's three and three eighths wide by two and one eighth in height. So I have a uh, old books a million discount card and I measured it and it measures exactly to those measurements. So this is what I'm going to be following today and it is the measurements that I used to make my three examples. So I have a piece of a couple pieces of paper cut to three and a quarter inches wide by eight inches long. So I'm going to be scoring and then folding. So here's what we're going to use as our guide. And that's what I have for you here. So let me get my scoreboard. I'm going to use this little one. I think it's little We Are Memory Keepers. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to score. And actually a bigger one may would probably be handy because this one is not eight inches wide. <laughs> so it's only six, but that's okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to score at three and a quarter. Okay. Let's see where you can see. I'm going to make my first score line at three and a quarter. Okay. And because I only have a six inch scoreboard, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and fold that over so that I can make my next score line at three and a half inches from that. So I put that, I fold the piece I've scored over, and then I score again at three and a half. Right there. Okay. If you have a scoreboard that, you know, is bigger, wider than six inches, <laughs> and you can lay your whole eight inch piece of paper down, then you would score at three and a quarter, and then you would score again at six and three quarters. And maybe I'll write that down, okay? But with my little one, that's how I've been doing it. I do my three and a quarter, fold it, and then I'll do my three and a half. Okay, so the last section ends up being uh, one and a quarter. So there's nothing else. You just need to score these two lines. Okay. Now for the sides, I'm just going to score it at a quarter of an inch on each side. Okay. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to score this side at a quarter inch. Now I have a couple of sections that didn't get done, so I have to kind of flip it over the other way and then score on the three till I meet it. Okay, there we go. Now, if you want to, yeah, I tended to put a little lip on the top piece. Okay, and so the top piece is, um, the little one and a quarter inch piece. Okay, 
So this is going to be the top that folds over. So you can put a little score if you want to just, you know, give your flap, your lid, a little more stability. And it's probably not a bad idea. So let me go ahead. Quarter seems like a lot. I might just do an eighth. I think I'll just fold it over. Just make a little fold right here. Okay. All right. Now I'm all done with my scoreboard. And now I'm just going to go ahead and fold all my creases. I did fold in all of the edges, just about all of the edges. We don't need all of this. There's going to be areas that get super bulky. To try to prevent that, we're going to make a couple of little cuts. Okay. So especially up here because this little eighth of an inch just doesn't need all that bulk right there. Okay. So what we're going to do is just going to cut and just cut that little bitty square out right on the edge. I'm gonna cut on, just on the inside, or actually kind of right on this line. Okay. And the one down here, I cut, tried to cut just below the, the crease, just below the 1 8 line. So on this side, it looks like I would cut it at kind of an angle. Let me try to straighten that up. <laughs> okay. We'll do the same thing over here. Let's see if you can see. So I'm going to cut a little on this side, so just below this crease right here. Okay. And I'm going to try to cut uh, right about here. Okay. There. All right, so we have the little cutouts of the edges. And as you can see, that way when I fold it over and then fold the top down, there's not the extra bulk, okay? So that's why we did that. Now, for the other places where it folds, we're just gonna cut out a V, okay? And so I'm just, I'm not measuring. You certainly can if you want. Um, I just want to help it when it folds over not to have all of this um, paper here. So I'm just gonna cut a little V and go to here and go like this. Okay, not measuring, doesn't have to be super perfect, just you know, you just want to take out some of that bulk. That's all. Okay. Yeah, see, I mean, those aren't the same sizes, but that's fine. There and there. All right. There we go. Now we just need to glue down our flaps. For that, I'm going to use my um, art glitter glue because it has this such a fine point. It's just easy, easier to control the glue. So here we go. I'm gonna start, let's just start here. So I'm going to go over it with my bone folder, make sure everything is glued down. All right. Now from here, I'm just going to fold this up. Okay, before I do that though, if you want to have that little cutout here, you need to go ahead and do that first. I'm going to uh, use just my little one inch circle punch 
and I'm going to slide this in here and flip it over so that I can see because I don't need the whole circle, right? I just need a little bit. I'll try to center it as best I can and just do maybe about a half a circle like, like so. Okay. Now I think I even have one where I think I might have like folded this over and made a little lip. Oh, it was this one. I folded that over, which is why when you look, it's why this one is farther down. See how this one comes up higher? This one's a little lower because I folded some of the flap just to kind of reinforce the edge. I don't know that you have to do that. I'm actually not going to do it. I didn't do it on any of the other ones, and I think it's fine. But if you want to, you certainly can. Maybe score another little eighth of score line right here, fold it over and glue it. You absolutely can do that. For this one, I'm not going to. But, okay, I've got my little punch. And I do recommend that because these fit in pretty snugly. But, yeah, it fits, but it fits pretty securely. So, without it, it might be hard for the person to get them out. I like it, though, because it is in there snugly, so you don't have to worry about it falling out. This one... I made a little tab to secure it, a little wrap around like that, like a little band. And if that falls off, you don't have to worry about your card falling out because it does fit in here quite, quite snugly. Husband's home. I'll be back. I have had dinner and I am back to you. So let's see, where were we? <laughs> all right. I think all that's left to do is to glue it down. To make sure that you don't put glue farther than you need to, Let's just go ahead and put glue on the just this one piece since that's the part that has to be glued down. I don't know why I was holding it. It's a lot easier to do if I lay it down. <laughs> so, that's easier. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And there we have it. Let's see. I'll take our card and we'll slide it in just to make sure everything is good and it fits and it can get in and it can get out. So, all right, once you're sure that it fits, then all you have to do is decorate. I'll tell you what, before we get to that point, I want to I want to make another one. This time I want to use my bigger scoring board. There we go. Okay, this is the only other one I've got, and it is, um, again, from We Are Memory Keepers, and it's called the Works All-in-One Tool. It still is only six inches wide, but at least I can score all the way down the sides. <laughs> so, again, I've got, I have my three and a quarter, can you see? I have my three and a quarter by eight inches piece of paper. Okay, go like this. So three and a quarter will, is our first score. Okay. Now this paper is a little thicker, so I want to make sure I get that score line really well. All right, so I've bent it and now I'm going to score at three and a half. Okay, three and a half. Okay. Well, it was a lot easier being able to score all the way down, that's for sure. I'll tell you what, this one comes with its own bone folder. I'll go ahead and use that. All right, and we put a little fold at the top flap. Okay, let's, let's do a quarter inch. We'll go ahead and try a quarter inch flap on the top for this one instead of an eighth of an inch. All right, there we go. That's all the scoring I need to do so I can put this away. I need to get my scissors and make my little V's and then cut out the little bitty box at the corners at the top of the flap. 
All right. So my scoring is done and my cutting is done. So let's fold. This actually does feel a little easier to fold, which makes sense because I'm not trying to fold it down that great big long line. I'm just folding smaller sections. So, okay. Now you know. <clears throat> Go ahead and do all your cutting first and then come in and fold. You know what? That's really cute, but it's kind of like the one I've already got. Let's, let me fold it the other way. Let's have this be the outside. Now this is why I cut where I cut. I don't think I really showed this on the other one. But when you're going to fold this top down, if you cut too far like on the outside of where your crease was, it'll hang over the edge and it won't look right. So you can test it by making sure when you fold this that, that the end piece doesn't cross over where you've scored right there. And then you test this one by making sure this end piece doesn't cross over that score line. Okay, and make sure you check it on both sides. So that one's good, and that one's good. Okay, all right, I think we're ready to glue. <clears throat> I've got my glue down, now let's do the check, just to make sure that the card can go in and out pretty easily. There we go. All right. Yep. There and there. So here we are. We've got two that are ready to be decorated. Now when it's time to decorate, you want to keep in mind what kind of closure you're going to have so that, you know, whatever you do to decorate it doesn't end up getting in your way of how you may decide to add your closure. And there's a couple of different things you can do. Here's an example. For this one, I, I added the band, as I talked about earlier. And you can slide it down to cover up the end of the lid. And there you go. Now, for this one, I just added a couple of little stamps just to kind of give it a little, you know, something special on the inside. I decorated it with one of the trees that we had made in a video last year, I believe. So I used one of those I had left over and stuck that on the front. I thought that was cute. I just put it over top of a little bit of cheesecloth and added a little sticker star. So since I had that decoration, and this is an example of I decorated it first <laughs> before I thought of how I wanted to close it, I don't want a band to come over the the top of this because it would cover up my star and part of the tree and you know that just that wouldn't work it wouldn't look very good so I think I'm just going to add a sticker and any sticker you have would work um, you know any of these would look really cute the, the circles you know any of these little puffy stickers if you have them I even have some of these um, you know, whatever sticker you have. I'm not going to put one on now because I don't have a gift card yet for it. So, <laughs> But once I put my gift card in, I'll just stick that sticker on and uh, it'll be ready to go. And you could even use put a two from on there if you want so you know who to give it to. For this one, I, I just thought that was such a cute little picture. <laughs> and so I took my one inch punch and I just punched that out and I put it there. Now it's not sticky on the back, so what I'll probably do is, when I'm ready to close it, I'll just put a little double-sided tape right here. And just a little bit. It just needs to be enough to hold it closed. And um, when I'm ready, I put my card in. I'll peel off the top and then just stick it down. And this one, this is a stamp I have. And I stamped that out and I colored him last night. And I just, I just thought it was cute. <laughs> so <laughs> doodled a little bit on his hat. And there you go. Like I said, before you decide how you want to decorate, make sure you know how you want to go about closing your lid. I like the idea of just adding a sticker because that way you can do whatever you want to on the front and you don't have to worry about it being in the way. To me, that's just the easiest thing to do. All right, so time to decorate. What I finally ended up doing for this one because it is kind of old looking um, paper and in case you're wondering it came from this book 
uh, Old World Winter and I used this a lot last year. I just love it and it has a page that has all of these little images. Um, you can see I fussy cut <laughs> already <laughs> but I just thought that it goes with the paper and it just looked the best. So much of what I had looked too new. You know the the right the picture or the writing or whatever was just too bright and I just it just didn't seem right so I decided to go with this now the only thing else I want to do is I do want to ink up the edges I just want to be able to you know for it to pop so you can see where that edge is so I'm going to do that real quick I really like the look of the cheesecloth underneath so let me scrounge up a piece of cheesecloth. All right, here we go. I knew I had more here somewhere on my desk. And this is just a one ply. <laughs> um, and I, I just love this stuff. It looks great and it just adds so much to the piece without even doing anything. All it has to do is just kind of be there. And it stretches and you can pull it and get, you know, all kinds of interesting shapes. I'm just gonna kind of have it looking haphazardly on my um, the front of my gift card holder. So uh, I think I'm just going to use glue stick. And I'm just gonna kind of just kind of kind of spread some on there and then just stick it down. So, nothing fancy. <laughs> I like this glue stick. Um, actually, I really like it a lot. Mostly because, well, it's big. And so, I can cover a lot of area fast. And it's purple. So, you can kind of see where you've put it. And that's really helpful for people like me who <laughs> don't see well <laughs> to begin with. So, let's... I think I will take whatever is on here and just add just a little bit of color to it so you can see. It may or may not have helped. Let's take a look. Okay, not sure if you can see. I can see it a little bit better. Not sure how it's showing up in the camera. But I'm going to just use my glue stick again and just stick this down. And this says best wishes for a happy Christmas and bright new year. So I think that's really, it's a nice sentiment to put on the front. Okay. All right. There we go. And here we go. I can just, now I can add a little strip of double-sided tape right here if I want. And then just, you know, tack that down. Or I will probably use a sticker or who knows maybe I'll maybe I'll come over here and just cut out you know something else and then have that be on the back and kind of stick that down so you know guys the options are endless so just you know let your imagination and creativity guide you <laughs> I think before I'm done with this one I'm gonna hit it uh, the edges with a little bit of the vintage photo Distressed Oxide and just give that old world look to the whole piece. Sure. And you can kind of come in and hit the corners with a little bit of extra. Let's see. You know, kind of frames it a little bit. a little bit more here and maybe even some on the inside crease oh why not <laughs> you can add a stamp or just say you know put a personal little note there you know with love mom or you know whatever you want to do so many options all right that's our first one done all right now for this one. Um, I love this paper. It's just so delicate. Uh, it's pretty pink and white. And just very delicate. 
So I was going through um, everything I have, <laughs> and this came out of the November kit, as did this paper. So I thought I would use this and just kind of make a little scene on the front. They're traveling. Isn't that just so cute? And it had this tree, and you know, while the tree is not very big, like the car is as big as a tree, <laughs> but if you put it behind, like this, all of a sudden it's a big tree. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it grow. So I think I'm just going to stick that down like that. And I tell you what, I might want to stick this on first just to make sure I get the placement right. Because I don't want, this tree has the ground. <laughs> I don't want the ground to show. That would break the illusion. There. All right, and I'm just going to top this off with the words uh, joy and cheer. Alrighty. There we go. Just to kind of add a little bit of fun, I went and grabbed, um, I have some uh, diamond stickles and it just is glittery and I thought it would just add just a little something extra to the front. So, yeah, I better put it down. <laughs> so, there. Okay. Hmm. I know snow falls everywhere, but I kind of don't want to put it on the car or the tree. don't know why. It just for some reason doesn't feel right. Let's take a look. There. Can you see? It's hard for me to tell if it's being as reflective as it really is, but they're really shiny. So, all right. And that is number two. All right, I'll bring these back in for you to see. These were the ones I made myself before the video. And here are the ones that we did today. So we've got this one, and we've got this one. It's so cute. As you can see, they're super easy to make, and you can decorate them any way you choose. So while some people think that a gift card may not be that personal, you can always add that personal touch by making your own gift card holder. Personally, I love gift cards. <laughs> that means I get to shop on somebody else's money and hey, that's that's just perfect for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you're giving gift cards, don't feel bad. <laughs> for people like me that love to get them. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you try this. It is easy and it's a lot of fun and it We'll make it feel special when you hand that person that gift card or send it in the mail. Let me know if you enjoyed it by giving me that thumbs up and check out my channel. And if you find value there, hit the subscribe button. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.